Hey y'all, this is Dana. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I am back. This is probably my last video for today. The hubby will probably be home in less than two hours, so I wanted to get this one done um, and do a little bit of things around my house before the hubs comes home and I cook dinner. Um, but anyway, I wanted to make some flowers and I wanted to make the little basket. This is the little sweet basket. I call it like a berry basket. Um, and it's so cute. Of course, it's from ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Definitely check her out. She is here, of course, at ScrapDiva29 on YouTube. And she's ScrapDiva.29 on Instagram. And she has her online store, which is simply amazing. Her dies cut like butter. I love every one of them. Now, I purchased this one. And if you're interested in this one, I will link it below. And don't forget to use my coupon code, DINA10, for 10% off of a $10 or more purchase. So, anyway, let's just get going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. And I'm also going to use this Sussex die. Let me show you the Sussex die. And I'm going to make some flowers. So, I'm using this die. I got it from Hobby Lobby, I believe. These are the two pieces I'm going to use. I haven't cut any of the greenery, but I think I think that you could imagine the greenery. Okay, so let's kind of start with the basket. I'm going to layer it up. I've already gone ahead and cut some nice bright paper, um, just fun paper. And this is out of the collection Heart Eyes by Simple Stories. And so you had what you have to do is you have to cut four pieces of this one. So um, let me show you the die again. So you're gonna cut four pieces of this. This is the sides of the basket. This is like for the decorative piece and this is the bottom, okay? You don't have to do a decorative piece if you don't want to, um, but it's there if you, have, if you want to. Um, then you're also gonna cut, you're gonna use these and cut two of each one um, for the side decorations. And then we also have these pieces that are like, can be for decorative papers, okay? So I've already cut everything out and this goes together pretty fast. So anyway, I cut pink and a decorative piece. That way I could layer it up and make it a little bit more sturdy. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my pink underneath, okay? And I'm just going to glue it all together and then put the basket together. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And just going to get this all up. Ah, come back here. I've really made some headway today. I'm so proud that because I don't like to wait forever to do my swap. I like to do it and get it mailed. I don't want anything to be late. Nothing should be late. Okay, so there's one. I'm gonna let this dry while I put the other pieces together and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything layered up and I also went ahead and folded on the score lines. That way then they're ready to go. I want to make sure that these are nice and flat because then when you layer up and you add extra paper it makes it kind of thick but I want it to be sturdy okay and I went ahead and folded on all the tabs as well okay and I layered up the bottom okay so what I think I'm going to do is I think it would be easiest for me to go ahead and join my tabs. Or you could start by doing this way and adding the bottom, just like this, okay? Um, let's try, let's start with that. I'm just using hot glue so it'll grab fast. Okay, making sure. There we go. And I'm going to use my bone folder. I got to press that down 
kind of get it started. See how nicely that is? I kind of lined up my paper really well. Um, and you can always do all four sides and then bring up and then let's do that. Let's bring, let's do all four sides. And I'm gonna try, let me see how it goes if I use our glitter glue. I thought about this for just a split second, just in case I need to move something around. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're adding, you're adding this and you're lining it up so your basket is nice and square. With this die, makes it very simple. Okay, I'm gonna press that for a second. See how that works. If I have to go back to the hot glue, I will. That actually worked pretty well. See that? Okay, let's do this one. Y'all, I love this die. Okay. Yep, Erica is constantly coming out with great dies. Uh, she's knocking it out of the park every time it's getting better and better. Definitely check her out. You won't be disappointed. You will not. Okay, I'm gonna get this pressed down. I wanna make sure that's going down as easy as I can get it. Okay, I'm gonna use my bone folder. Okay. One more side. Yeah, I think it's this this is a nice easy way to do this. One more side. I'm gonna put my glue. And and then I'm going to go ahead and I can line it up on that edge. Okay, just like this. And then you can open it and use your bone folder and make sure everything's pressed down real nicely. And I didn't cut another centerpiece. I might have to stop and do that. Then all you're going to do is is join your tabs. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it this way in case I need to move something. Okay, it's gonna hold that for a split second. Okay. Next one, look how easy and so cute. So, so, so cute. And you wanna make sure you line these up. I had a green basket in my kitchen. I threw it away recently when I was kind of purging but I had a green one that was kind of like this. It had the little holes in it and stuff. I just had it in my, my drawer or my cabinet and I was like, you know, I never use this. You need to get rid of things you don't need, need or use. Okay, I'm gonna hold that one second. I wanted to use hot glue, but I'm glad I ended up using regular glue. That way then I could maneuver things if I need to. last tab and I'm just gonna hold that and make it straight this is darling definitely it definitely layer up your paper add an extra layer it really made it so much thicker because I made one already and I didn't like it because it wasn't sturdy enough add two pieces of paper together and this turns out just beautiful okay so and see how fast it went together fast now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add these pieces along the side. And of course I did mine pink. And I'm gonna add these pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and then you know, once you get it all together, you just decorate it the way you want. So cute. So, so, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put all these and then we'll put the top piece. And 
And then if you wanted to add like little, there's so many people making these and they're making like little straps. If you wanted to make like little straps for the sides, you can do that. It would be darling. Okay. Now look at that. See how cute that is? Last one. I'm gonna make sure it's lined up. Look how cute, 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 cute. Now I cut some of this paper, and this is from the same collection. I'm gonna add that on. And I just cut this, you don't have to do this part, but I just thought it'd be a nice, um, extra beautiful color paper. I love it, oh, it's so pretty. This collection, simply amazing. I was watching Mommy and Me, I think it's Mommy and Me Crafts, I think, that's it. Um, she popped up on my feed and I watched and she was use, utilizing this die and she used this paper. And I wrote and I said, what collection is that? And she said, told me which one it was and I immediately had to order it because it was just beautiful. Now everybody's ordering it. It's just a gorgeous paper pad. going to add this. I like adding this extra piece. Oopsie. I had it. I need to add this one. I had two together. Let's get this one on. There we go. Look at that. I love that. If you didn't even want to use this piece right here, you can add some like lace with ruffly lace on it. It made the cutest basket. Now I'll have to cut the piece for the center. Actually, I could cover up these and just use this pink piece and that would be just fine. I'm good with that. Let's just use it, it's already cut. That way it covers up what's in the bottom. You see how all the piece, how you put your pieces together. I'll just use this solid pink. And then I will get that pressed down. That way then, there we go. Look at that. See, what a cute basket. Okay, I stopped for one minute. I wanted to make some little, like, like, like a little, some little handles on the side. I think it'd be darling to do it that way. You can make some longer ones. You can do so much with this. But what I did is I cut out one piece in the pink with this and then one piece of the decorative paper. So I did two of them and I kind of took my bone folder, kind of curled it a little bit just so I can get that, get that going. And now I'm just going to just kind of center it up and glue it up inside here. Okay, so I'm gonna use hot glue for this one. Let's see if I can just, how I can get that in there. And then, yes, yeah, so cute. You know, every die that she comes out with is better than the last one. This is, this knocks it out of the park, so good. So there we go. That's what that looks like. Let's do this side. I'm hoping I can use this for my swab if I have room. I'm hoping. I hope. It's so cute. I'll have to figure out how I can make everything fit. Things are gonna have to go inside of things. So, okay, so 
there we go. So there I added two little handles on the side. You can decorate this up if you like. So cute. I had cut one of these flowers. I'm wondering if it would be cute with the flower on the front. I think I'm gonna wait a second and I'm gonna see see how this is gonna look. So I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna what I'm gonna put on the basket. And um, yeah, let's move on to the flower. So I cut myself a lot of pieces of this particular die this one right here and like again i said this this one is the sussex die for i got it from hobby lobby so i only use these two pieces so i kind of want to kind of mess up my petals a little bit okay and i think i'm going to rotate the decorative paper with the pink foil paper and I want to make this thick as I can get it. So I think I will just start by putting a little bit of hot glue in the center. Probably put too much. And I'm going to stagger my petals. So there it is, already one. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of rotate. Kind of bend them up. And I'm going to use my hot glue. And I'm going to rotate them just so they are not totally lined up. Okay. And I want to make some of these to put in my swap. I'm hoping I can include the basket if I can fit it. My, ba my box is pretty full. I'm hoping I can because this is gorgeous. And I will come back and show y'all how I decorated it. Okay. So kind of bend up your bend up your petals. Now I'm gonna add another one, kind of bend my petals. And this this paper right here, it came from uh, Michaels. And this one someone told me it came from Target. I thought maybe it came from Joanne's. But I've had it a long time, so it's all good. So I just want to keep adding. So see how that's looking. Beautiful. I just got this die recently. Oopsie gonna be a white one here. I just got this die a couple weeks ago. It was on clearance. I'm glad I grabbed it. Just kind of bending everything up. I'm going to keep going. See how I've got lots of layers? I'm going to bend. So what are y'all making for dinner? I'm actually making steak, mushrooms, and onions for dinner tonight. It's fast and delicious. And I'll make rice with it and I probably will make a salad. And it's going to taste yummy. I think I'm gonna just do the whole bunch. See, look at all the layers. I love it. Kind of bend them up. It's cute. Look at that. See? So pretty. I think I'll do two more layers and then we'll do the top pieces. that I could fit the little ba basket in my swap. <sighs> I have the flat rate box already. And I'm hoping. Okay, I'm going to do one more of this one. Okay. I'm going to add... 
but I love it. All the layers, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so I have these. I cut two of these for the center. I have to even decide if I even want them. And I also purchased these at Hobby Lobby, and I wanted to use these as the centers for my flowers. So I cut um, a white one, and I, what I did is just cut it in half. I didn't cut that one very good. I want a better cut one. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking, let me make sure I like that. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'm going to kind of bend up these little short edges. And let me glue this down. And bend those up. Decide if I want it. I don't think I, I don't think I, one is good. And then I'm going to put a little white styrofoam in the bottom. Let me make sure. Let me see which one I tried to cut. Oh, I kind of like that one's a little taller. Okay, it's probably going to melt it. Let me see how it goes. But it's underneath. And I got a little glue seeping out right there, so let's get it. I think on my next one, this part right here, I'll do a white. So pretty. There you go. Sweet, sweet flowers. Look at that. Look at all the layers. Just cut yourself up a bunch of paper. This is a great scrap buster. Um, you could use your scraps of paper and make some beautiful flowers. If you don't have this die um, or a way to get this die, then you can also just, uh, you could use a punch. If you have a Cricut, you can cut them out that way or you can try to freehand it. But there you go. There's the beautiful flowers. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I think I stopped for a sec. I had a call come in. I started thinking, I think I will put this on the front of this sweet, sweet basket. I think I'm just going to put it right here on the front. I think it's going to be just simply darling. I'm going to put it where it kind of sticks up a little bit. I'm wondering if I should have did another flower on the back to make the back of it pink so it wouldn't stick up white. I'm wondering if, if I should. No, I, I'll just leave it. It'll be okay. But yeah, that's so cute. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do it. Let me just decide exactly where I want my hot glue. Okay, and then I dropped it. Let me grab it. And then I'm gonna have to make some for the inside. So let me. Make sure I got my hot glue on there. I'm gonna stick this up here. I want the hot glue to make sure it's not sticking up. How sweet. Okay, good decision. Look at that. Look at that, so cute. Got a sweet flower on the front. I'm wondering if I should add a little bit of glue just over here on the sides to make sure everything stays in place. That's just under the bottom ones, petals. Okay, gotta get, gotta get up underneath there. Okay, so, so cute. This, but this flower is so cute on the front of it. And now y'all just fill your little basket with some fun little shred. I've got some shred here. Let's see how, if we added some little shred in here. Okay, you can add some goodies inside. 
Oh my goodness, so cute, so, so cute. How cute is that? Look, and I'm gonna add some little goodies inside. I'm gonna add some flowers in here and I'm hoping I can fit this in because it's simply darling, 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 darling. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys have had an awesome day and um, I'm gonna go in there and do a few things in my house and get ready for the hubs to come home. Anyway, have a great day. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Love you guys, bye.